Where did a lot of these stories come from? Is is this sort of like the tales from fishermen in the area? Or did you actually, was there research that went into this? I actually researched them. In fact, one of the songs on the album or the CD uh, pays homage to three uh, boats, the fishermen and their families. Um, they went down, down, down in the bay. From high tide to low tide, all swept away, their wives and their children cry out in despair. For oh, the men, the bottom basher, all American and mistress. Those are three boats that actually came to an untimely end here. And uh, so I spoke to a lot of people about those occasions. This is a dangerous, dangerous bay. You have Passamaquoddy and Fundy and Cobscook. You have high tides, low tides. You have the old Sal whirlpool going. And um, people, I don't think they, I don't think they realize how much it really takes to to run a fishing operation. John, this was this is a unique way to sort of um, keep track of history in that area. Who were you thinking about when you were sort of diving into this project? Is this is this something for people out of state to listen to and sort of learn from, or is this for people in Eastport? I think of initially it was for the folks here. And a lot of these stories are very personal. You know, uh, the history of the town of Eastport and the Pirates Festival, and then the whole fishing industry, the ups and the downs. But while researching that, I came across something that was pretty tough for this part of the country. And uh, that, of course, is the opioid and uh, meth problem that, that you find on the main. I, sort of put together a conglomerate of how that's affecting most of us. She was a beauty with a lot of promise. High school yearbook said most likely to succeed. Then came a down at spinning bottle tossing hoodlum to woo her. No one better, she finally let him in. Nine months later, she had a baby. She's checking groceries at the end of town. During the day, her mama sits a child. Late at night, she wonders, when it all go wrong? That's a pretty personal insight of another part of what's going on down around here but this is a point Amanda I'd like to also make Maine is one of the two oldest by population states Washington County is the oldest aged population in Maine and Eastport is one of the oldest by population cities in Washington County it's something that we've, we learn to live with. We try to take care of each other. We're all family. But that being said, Amanda, I'd like to say a lot of us are living in home and we're taking care of each other and we're happy to be together. In the corner of our home, near the old wood fireplace, we sip our coffee in silence and then we reminisce. One day blends into another. We're holding on to what we had. We talk about when we were younger. Try not to feel too sad. In the evening, we climb back into bed. Snuggle like we used to do. I tell her goodnight, I love her. She whispers, I love you too. 
מדעית. 